Hey there, how are y'all? Let's fix this lighting. Hi, my name is Missy Mo, and welcome to my page if you've not been here before. I would love for you to drop by for a while and join me here on this live video and listen in because you know what? Mondays are the hardest thing. But first off, a little bit about me. I am a health and fitness coach and I love inspiring women to be their better selves and then just to like find a way to like reignite their inner light that maybe has kind of been dimmed um, through the years because you've put yourself on the back burner and you've just been going through the motions of life and just not taking care of yourself maybe in the best way. And so then you find yourself in your like late 30s or like early 40s and you're like what the heck happened well I'm here to like inspire you and motivate you to let you know that you know things happen and you can you know <clears throat> get back on track and today we're gonna talk about a little bit of Monday um, what you can what can you do to take make Monday more positive for you because sometimes Mondays I hear this a lot and I used to be the same way. Mondays used to be dreadful, right? Going back to work and just like <clears throat> thinking about, you know, you have the whole week ahead and you just are just like overwhelmed sometimes and just like have a negative mindset. But to me, it Monday is a new day. It's like a new, you know, a slate has been, it's time to clean the slate and just clear the slate and just know that you have a whole fresh week ahead of you and many awesome things can happen. So let's talk about this. And it looks like Marcy's on. Hey, Marcy, uh, I can just see that you're on and there's two or three people. If y'all can hear me, like, let me know. That would be awesome. Um, if you can hear me, because I don't want to be like talking this whole time and no one able to hear me. So anyway, give me a little shout out um, or just say you can hear me. And then also, um, I would love for you to please uh, like and share this video um, with, you know, on your page to where you can like reference it back. That would be great. And um, that way you can maybe spread this message to other people too, to where you can maybe help and inspire somebody else that you may not even be aware of that might pick it up and listen to it. But anyway, okay, so let's, let's go guys. All right, so first off, yesterday, <laughs> I didn't have a bad weekend, but let's just say that, um, and, and I'm talking about like food right now, okay? Like, and not fitness because I had two rest days on Saturday and Sunday and it was like awesome. But yesterday I had a few too many cookies okay and even though they were like healthy the healthiest kind of cookie you can get i mean they were like gluten-free they were basically those that auntie ann's brand or whatever that's like got low sugar you know doesn't have anything major process in it everything's organic blah 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 all this kind of stuff but still in the moment as i'm like breaking in baking them <laughs> I'm like thinking, I'm gonna have these cookies, I'm gonna have them, I'm only gonna break off like six and Chris will eat a few, no, I broke off eight. Chris will eat a few and then Logan, my son, will be back in town and he'll eat a few. Well, guess who ate them? Okay, guess who ate five? Okay, first I started off with three. And then I was like, oh, I can just have one more. I can just have one more. And so I ate two more after I got back from Target last night. <laughs> after eating three so yes and the last two I savored them I drank them with like milk and they were like super yummy but let me just tell you the cool thing about this is that one I didn't have any major bloating this morning okay and I don't feel yucky I didn't have a head rush because you know they use all the pure organic sugar there's nothing processed in those cookies and that tells me a few things that I'm more metabolically stable um, and more more flexible in my nutrition. So I can have some of these things and not have ill effects. Now, if I would continue on a downfall, <laughs> or maybe not a downfall, but if I continue like eating these treats and on and on and on, and had I not given the rest of the cookies over to my friend who came over and worked out with me this morning, then I could be on a slippery slope, right? And the whole thing is that we wanna make sure that we take care of ourselves so we're not on a slippery slope and that we can not have like a grand slide all the way to the bottom of the heel, right? So we, if we can catch ourselves like right as we kind of maybe slip or tumble, you know, just a little bit on the rocks, you know, on the edge, you kind of like on the edge of the heel and you kind of like just slip or tumble, um, <laughs> then you can catch yourself, right? And you can like get back to the top, right? But that's what Mondays, 
should be about. Monday should be about getting back on track and using a Monday to remember that if you have a you have a clear you have a clean slate and that you can start over so what can you do if you had like a a weekend that was kind of like you know um you kind of had a few extra treats or maybe you just had one treat day well you want to make sure that you infuse your body with great clean clear water okay that is number one make sure that before every meal today that you're drinking like at least 16 ounces of water because that is going to help you get fuller it's going to help you like detox your body from the toxins and maybe um, some of the unhealthy foods that you may have eaten you know this weekend and maybe you had some alcoholic beverages and maybe you just need to like clear that liver so the the what you water the water is going to help that process it's going to kind of help kickstart that process okay because you still have to eat today you don't want to just like starve yourself and not eat you want to eat you want to eat intentionally and you want to drink intentionally so first thing is you want to like you want to stay focused on what your long-term goal is, okay? So, oops, sorry, my hair is getting in my mouth. Uh, your long-term goal is it goal? Is it to be healthier? Is it to like lose weight? Is it to like just feel better and to just not maybe maybe not you know just to stay the same that you're at right now that you know you want to stay at your level that you're at? Well, then if that's your long-term goal, then that's great. Just stay focused on that. Then the second thing is like bless and release it. Let it go. Let go what happened yesterday. Don't feel guilty about it. If you're not able to like not feel guilty like in the moment about it and like savor the cookie and like the milk like I did, like, you know, drinking the milk like I, I did last night and just know that it's going to be okay and that that, you know, that's just part of the process that sometimes you just have a little indulgement and then you you're off on your merry way the next day all right so bless and release it okay and and just know that it's bad it doesn't do you any good to stay with a guilty mindset and a negative mindset be feeling like a failure like from maybe what you indulged in over the weekend that is so sometimes so many people's problems is that they get to monday and they're like maybe tired because uh and sluggish because of the food that they maybe you know t took in over the weekend and maybe they're just exhausted and so they miss their workout or they don't focus on like the water or they just feel like giving up and quitting because of one little mess up or one little indulgence for some people on the weekend and guess what you have worked way 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 too hard to get all the way to here and then all of a sudden just throw your hands up and give up on yourself okay that's not what this is about this is a lifestyle change right and so that's what you have to focus on it's a lifestyle all right so your long-term goal is number one your second thing is gonna be bless and release it because it's done it's over it's not serving you anymore by focusing on it beating yourself up about it you know get that ass kicking machine off turn it off you don't need it all right we do enough of that already to ourselves we don't need it to go any further so stop it all right the third thing is to focus on the here and now and what you can control and what you can't control hey delena how are you thanks for watching you can only control this point from this point forward right you can't control anything else so like i said bless and release what happened over the weekend and let's start fresh today because remember clean slate it's a clear slate you have nothing that can hold you back all right what's done is done and now you have just to focus on the here and now and what can you do to take action and that's number five is ask yourself that question and yes it's a hard question but it's worth asking you are worth asking that question what can you do right now in the here and now to move you past what happened this weekend what can you do right now to help you rid your body of the toxins and the pollutants you can drink some water you can eat clean today you know you can um just journal about it you know were, were you having like some feelings did you get into some emotional eating did you or were you just having a good time and and then you 
you know, you need to like, it's, it's over and done. Or maybe you were having a bad, you know, a bad weekend and you, you know, you indulged and you ate that ice cream or whatever because you were just like stuffing your feelings. Hey, been there, done that. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to die from it. You're just going to learn from it. So remember that you're learning from all of this stuff. It's not about, you know, um, putting yourself into this, uh, in this mindset of thinking it's all or nothing because it's not all or nothing. It's like you, you can do this and you can, you can change your lifestyle by just taking these baby steps and like trying to, trying to like reverse engineer them to where you can figure out the best plan of action for yourself. So, I mean, drink some water today, you know, eat clean today. Like, yes, today you probably need to have the salad. Okay but you still need to eat. Don't starve yourself today because guess what happens tomorrow whenever you're starving and everything that you put into your body tomorrow gets sucked into you, whatever it is, the good, the bad, the ugly. So if you succumb to some more for, uh, to French fries tomorrow or it's like some more um, donut, like donuts at the office in the morning because you are starving, then guess what? Your body just sucks into it and it stays on you. <sighs> Yeah, and then you have the whole repeated cycle of guilt, 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 okay? And that's just the thing that you have to break. Hey, hey, Catherine, how are you, girl? And so make sure you also pray. And yes, I'm a Jesus girl, and I pray because sometimes that's all you can do is just pray for the strength to bless and release it, like get rid of the guilt because we don't have time for any of that guilt, you know, to give you the strength to like move forward and not have any guilt because you are strong and you are courageous and you can do anything that you set your mind to. By golly, you have children, you've birthed them. And if you don't have children, you know what? You've been a great aunt or you've been a great, you know, you know, uncle or a great dad or what have you, whoever's watching this, but just know that you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. And I find that to be something that I always struggled with until like I had someone, you know, believe in me and then I started to believe in myself. And so I know that you are way stronger than you give yourself credit for. All right. So just trust me on that. Get your veggies in today and then make sure you're drinking lots of water. Hopefully you are like drinking at least half your body weight in ounces and adding eight ounces for every eight ounces of, ca of a caffeinated be beverage that you drink. So if you drink coffee in the morning and you drink way too much, like if you drink eight ounces or 16 ounces or, you know, um, 21 ounces or, you know, 24 ounces or whatever, like whatever you do. Just make sure that you're balancing it out with adding extra water, okay? And you, you probably shouldn't be drinking more than like two, two cups of coffee a day. And I'm speaking from experience because it took me, oh, I don't know, I probably started drinking coffee every day since the time I was like five, probably like five or six. We had coffee milk for breakfast. Yes, I'm a South Louisiana girl. And that's what we did. And so, and it was full of sugar and milk at that time. And then gradually, I went to black coffee flavored with stevia and then I went to no coffee <laughs> after my 44th birthday and I haven't had coffee in I guess it's gonna be three years this coming December so anyway so just remember that so caffeinated beverages not so great because what they do they're they're they caffeine acts as a diuretic and so any water that you took in is gonna come out but it also puts your body in a state of um, of acidity and that's not so great for your whole like system and your hormones and everything all right so make sure you're trying to flush out that uh, caffeine that you're putting into your body all right so with that I hope you learned something today and I hope that I added value to your Monday and please like I said um, I would love for you to like and share this um, this video with your friends and again um, you know, let's just kind of recap what to do on Mondays. One, you want to stay focused on your long-term goals. Two, you want to bless and release whatever happened this weekend. It's done. It's over with. Three, you want to focus on the here and now. What can you do today that's going to change things, right? That's going to, what's going to put you, move you forward instead of like keeping you backwards. If you're focusing on yesterday, then that's going to not basically keep you on a project. You know, it's not going to, um, Put you in a forward motion all right and then four ask yourself how can i get into some action and then get into the action and those are some things you can do 
And I mean, you don't have to just use this on Mondays. Of course, you can use this on any day of the week. And um, just know that you are you deserve you know to feel healthy and to feel good and to eat clean and to take care of yourself because you are worth it. All right, so I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.